this is the story about how all the children's tales in the Caribbean came to be called Anansi Stories. They weren't always called Anansi Stories. Once upon a time, they were called Tiger Stories. And that is because Br'er Tiger is the most powerful creature in the forest. Br'er Nancy was only a spider. He was very small, really tiny, but he was very smart. And one day, he went up to Br'er Tiger in the forest. All the other creatures were there, and he bowed very low before Br'er Tiger, and he said, Br'er Tiger, Br'er Tiger, you are the strongest creature in the forest. I am only a lowly little spider, a lowly little spider. But you know, I would like for something to be called by my name. Your name is on everything. Your name is on everything, Br'er Tiger. Tiger lilies and tiger eyes and tiger nuts. And my name is not on one single solitary thing. I will do anything you say, anything you say, Br'er Tiger, if you will let my name be. And Br'er Tiger said, be, be on what, Br'er Nancy? And Br'er Nancy said, I would like my name to be on the stories. So Br'er Tiger chuckled to himself and thought of all the difficult tasks he could give to Br'er Nancy. And he said, All right, Br'er Nancy, if you can bring me Br'er Snake, you know Snake, that long creature that lies down by the side of the river, if you can bring me Snake alive here in the middle of the forest where everybody can see, then you can have the tiger stories. They will be called after that, Anansi stories. So Br'er Nancy bowed low before Br'er Tiger and said, Thank you, Br'er Tiger. Thank you, Br'er Tiger. And off he went home to tell his wife, Asso. His wife, Asso, was a very smart woman. Also, she loved Anansi. She loved Anansi very, very much. And when Anansi told her what he had done, Asso said, No, Anansi. And Anansi said, Yes, Asso. So Asso said, Well, we will just have to think of a way for you to capture Br'er Snake. And so the two of them sat up through the long night thinking of a way for Anansi to capture Snake. The following morning, Br'er Nancy got up very early and he found his way down to the side of the river where there was a big clump of bamboo and he took his machete, some people say machete, he took his machete and he chopped down the longest bamboo pole and then he cleaned up the leaves from the sides of the bamboo pole and he laid out nice and clean right beside the river where he knew that rare snake would come as soon as morning came, to lie down and to warm himself in the sun. Snakes are funny. They like the sun when it's cool, but when it gets hot, they'll go back into the shade. So Br'er Nancy knew that while the morning was cool, Br'er Snake would come and he would lie himself down to catch the sun on the side of the river. So Nancy went back home and he came back down when he knew Snake was going to be there. And he went up to Br'er Snake and he said, Morning, morning, Br'er Snake, morning, Br'er Snake. And Br'er Snake said, Morning, morning, Br'er Nancy. And Br'er Nancy took his time and he said, sort of thoughtfully, You know, Br'er Snake, you know, Br'er Snake, everybody says, everybody says, you are the longest creature in this forest. The longest creature. But I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure it is so at all, at all, at all. So Br'er Snake, who was very proud of his 
length and his strength, said to Brian Nancy, Brian Nancy, you and I know that I am the longest creature in this forest. Brian Nancy said, scratching his spidery chin, I'm not sure, I'm not sure at all, at all. You see that piece of bamboo pole over there? I think if you lie down beside that piece of bamboo pole, you will see that the bamboo pole is longer than you. And you know some creatures here are longer than the bamboo pole. So Brian Snake said, all right, you want me to stretch myself out beside that bamboo pole? I will do that. So he went over to the bamboo pole and he stretched himself out all the way, as far as he could go. And Nancy went over and said, mm, that's not bad, that's not bad, you know, Brian Snake. But, you know, if I run up here to the top, and he ran up to the top of the pole, then you will stretch yourself out up here, but I can't see what your tail is doing. And same thing, if I run down to the bottom, if I run down to the bottom here, you will just stretch yourself up, stretch yourself down, down here at the bottom, and I won't see what you're doing up the top. So Brer Snake said, all right, Anansi, why don't you tie me here at the top, tie my head to the pole, and then you can go to the bottom and you will be able to see whether my tail is longer than the pole. You will be able to see. So Brian Nancy said, I think that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Brian Snake. And he got some very strong vines that he had prepared and he took them and he tied Brian Snake's head to the pole. Then he walked down to the middle where Brian Snake's middle was up against the pole and he said, Brian Snake, you know, I, I, I think if you stretch yourself really far, right, and I tie your hair around your middle, then you would really know that when you stretch out down the bottom, you are really longer than this bamboo pole. So Brian Snake said, all right, Brian Nancy, all right, tie me, tie my middle to the bamboo pole right there. And then when you go to the bottom, I'll stretch myself out as far as I can go and you will see that I am longer than this bamboo pole. And so Brian Nancy took the vines and he tied Brian Snake very tightly to the middle of the pole and then he ran down to the bottom and he said to Brian Snake, Brian Snake, Brian Snake, Brian Snake, you're almost longer, you're almost longer. Just stretch out a little more, stretch out a little more. And Brian Snake stretched as far as he could go. And Brian Nancy took the vines and he tied Brian Snake to the bottom of the pole. And then he stood back and he laughed his kiki. And Nancy laughed. Kiki, 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 kiki. Guess what, Brian Snake? I tie you to the pole. And Brian and Nancy, with the help of the forest animals, because they were all there and they were all so surprised, they took Br'er Snake to the presence of Br'er Tiger and they lay him down in the middle of the forest and Br'er Nancy said to Br'er Tiger, Br'er Tiger, Br'er Tiger, I do what you say I must do. I do what you say I must do. I bring you Br'er Snake. I bring you Br'er Snake. And Br'er Tiger sighed, a great tiger sighed. <sighs> but he knew that he had to keep his word, and so he said, All right, Brian Nancy, you do what I say you was to do, and so from now on forever and ever, the stories for the children will be known as Anansi stories. Jack Mandora, you choose none.